okay so in the last video we retrieve the connected users when we our client initially connects okay so in here in our main.js so socket.onconnect at the bottom here we're saying ask for connected clients okay but we're not handling when a new client connects or disconnects we're not doing anything that's why the other browsers are not automatically updated when that happens okay so for example i'll just show you what i mean so let's go to my um safari browser here so opening up firefox when i close this safari window here what we want to happen is that um this list of connected users here is updated by showing that this anonymous um username here disappears because that user has disconnected but that's not the case when i um close this as you can see when i close um i have to refresh this browser to update that as you can see refresh then it updates it but we want that to automatically happen so i'm going to open a safari here and we're going to um, connect again and um yeah so let's refresh this as you can see it shows up here okay so i'll go to um chrome here and i refresh that's when um that automatically shows up right so let's come to our main.js here we're gonna have to set up two event handlers on the clients and on the server so first is when a new um, user connects so let's do a socket dot on new connected user so new connected user so basically um, when we're listening for that anytime that event triggers is going to set send us a new list of updated users okay so when a new user connects we're going to get the new list of users so i say users and um in here let's do users list dot empty so we want to clear out the list of users and then re-render it so dollar dot each users and then we just pass in an anonymous function here and um, users list dot append and what do we want to append we want to append an li tag in there and the value of that will be this dot username and um, the value will let's close in the li tag here okay so let's set up another um, event handler which is new user um, disconnected so that's pretty much the same as this except that the event that we're listening to will be new disconnected um, user okay so let's say disconnected user and um, anytime the user disconnects will be sent an updated list and we'll clear out the users list again and re-render it using dollar dot h okay so let's head over to our server and uh, make sure that these um, events are being sent when a user connects and disconnects okay so anytime that a user connects um, in io dot connection here right after the part where in we're broadcasting the username let's add in an uh, an event emit there okay so let's say var um, connected users list so connected user list equal to um, connected sockets dot uh, map and then we're going to pass in a function here which is going to act as um, the callback for that map and then item and what we want to do is just return um, the id and the username for each item there okay so i'll just quickly do that return so basically we don't want these two to conflict so i'll do connected user list um two or actually um yeah i'll just do connected user list two here because we don't want these two to conflict okay javascript acts in a weird way so let's do a socket dot broadcast dot emit and um, we want to emit new connected user okay so we want to pass in this um, new connected users this two as the value for that okay so what's going to listen to that on the client is this event handler here so let's set one for new disconnected user so we're going to do that on server here as well so anytime a user disconnects we're going to um, query for all the users list as we did here and then just broadcast that so it is safe to just copy these two piece of code here these two lines here and just paste that right underneath here okay so i'll just paste that so connected users list two and then instead of broadcasting the new connected user we got broadcast new disconnected user okay so i'll save that and go to my browser and refresh let's start the server again 
so you're not a browser the server it is and uh, a new user connected so i'm just going to refresh all the clients now so you can see firefox um, node and um, safari so i'm going to refresh all of those so now when i close safari we should see that this um client here is updated now let's go to the chrome browser here now as you can see alex and um and Jake are the only connected clients. We'll get to that you um undefined the reason why that happens in a moment. So now when I close this Firefox browser here, we should see um Alex2, which is the username for the Firefox client disappearing from this list. As you can see, it disappears here. So now let me start with Firefox again and I'll go to that address, um localhost 3000 I'll just copy that. Let's go to that. As you can see now it should appear here on this list again. Now when I visit that, it says undefined okay so back to addressing this undefined here the reason why we're seeing undefined is because of the way that we're sending the new connected client events from the server okay so um we have to make sure that only when a user is assigned a username that we send a new connected client because you want to make sure that that user has a username set so we're going to copy this code here which emits the new connected user um event and then move it inside of the callback for a uh, new username okay so we're going to move it up here so now let's go and refresh uh, our server, Node.js server, and um, that should be fixed. So now as you can see, um, all the clients are connected and disconnected, and um, the undefined is gone now. Okay. So let me just close up this Node um, chats client for um, Safari, and as you can see, it will disappear from these two browsers. Now let me close it for Firefox as well. It should disappear from Chrome. All right. And now when I close Firefox, it disappears from the Chrome list. So now let me start up Firefox again and um, go to that address. Localhost 3000, you can see Alex2. And um, likewise for Safari as well. Visit the same URL. Now let's send in message to say, hello, I am Safari. And everything should work as expected. As you can see, hello, I am Safari. And um, the message shows up on both firefox and chrome here okay so that brings us to the end of this tutorial series and um, i hope this video series was helpful and if you enjoyed it please share with your friends and um comment in the comments below if you have any questions and until then i will see you soon in another series cheers bye bye